Okie dokie. What's this? So you've got one facing to the left of there. I don't see what that's going to do for me ever. <laughs> Pretty weird. Uh, other than that, I can go this way. And that's like a forced move. And then this is a forced move. What? There's like no choices here. <laughs> what are you teaching me? Nothing? Nothing? That was a weird one, why? <laughs> Just did the things that were available to me. Um, okay, <clears throat> here. I mean, if I'm pushing something in with me, I can only push one thing in. I can see there being a right facing one here and then like an upwards facing one. No, not upwards facing. Oh, is it possible I'm going in and out multiple times? Like taking something in with me. There's no rotations in this. So taking something in with me, then leaving. But then that thing I took in with me would have to be the thing that I'm using to get back out. So no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so it's just... Okay, what direction do I need in there? I guess a rightwards facing one, but then I also need a rightwards facing one here and I've only got one. Right, so what I'm thinking is if I put this here and then had another rightward facing one, I'd go in that, i go up, oh, and then I'd rewind. So that actually wouldn't work. So how else can I push something in? Oh, a left of facing one, which I don't have. Because I could like push that up and then push it to the left. Oh no, no then I go this way, not that way. Ooh. Oh, upwards facing one, right. <laughs> upwards facing one, I would go up, left, I'd hit that and then come back out. How do I go in there without coming back out? <laughs> right was facing one, uh, 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 land there, or land there. Upwards facing one, Duh, 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 land there. Left is facing one, don't even go in. Downwards facing one, downwards facing one. Okay. I'd go, duh. I wouldn't go to the right because there's nowhere to go, and then up again. So I need to at some point get a downwards facing one here, and then be on the other side and go into it but then also have a rightwards facing one with me. That's a lot of stuff. Um, there are two downwards facing ones. It feels more likely that I'm gonna get this one in there. I do something like this. But then I can't get across. Whoa. Whoa. Can I use the up to get across the other side? No. Just go there. The answer is definitely no. So I can then use the downward one to go to the other side. I can also walk around. <laughs> ah, so I probably at some point want to like push something through with something else. Like maybe I send another down through so that I can use that one as the one that goes in that corner and still have this to get back out. That feels reasonable. I bet I wanted, to, okay. Well, I don't know that for certain. I was thinking I bet I wanted you to be in that middle column so I can still access you. So this gets me in there, which is good, but it's not everything. Yeah, I kind of still need access to you, don't I? Because you're the one I'm going to take in with me. But then that means I need to have put that there already? That's not going to happen. Maybe I do this. Bring you through with me like this. Now you're that one to bring come back to this side. This feels good. 
I think. Push that up. Push that up. I think I'm done. She's to the right. If so, this is a really cool puzzle. Yes! Hooray! Very nice. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Okay. Top right corner is where I want to go. All of these are going to send me that way. Uh, except I do have a rotation. Rotations are scary. Rotations are very scary. Uh, right now, oh, is this okay? I can sort of see that maybe the trick here is going to be the like because the obvious thing to do is like push this in and it will rotate and I can bring back out. The, the less obvious thing is to use all of these. This is like an early level in Barbara's U. To do something like that. <laughs> Why exactly? I don't know. <laughs> and I could rotate something twice if I wanted to. What would that give me? That could be an up? No, they were ups already. Okay, what do I actually want here? <laughs> I should figure that out. Um, so the up sends me that way. It was never going to take me through there. Um, a left would send me this way. It could send me through there if I could like block myself somewhere, which I don't think I can. I don't think there's anywhere I can block myself. Let's go back. So that, so that the, re the return trip of the left U is going to that space. So I don't think that's possible. Up, left, down. Down would take me in. Um, and I'd be good. Right? It's clear this space exists for a reason. Like I want to take a thing in here and then go down into it or something. So down would get me in there, but only if I could do it in that space. And then right would just, ooh, no, right would be bad unless I blocked. Right would always be bad. <laughs> so if I took a rightwards in without anything else happening, I'd go here, I'd go up, I wouldn't be able to go up. So I'd come back out and end up in that space. That could just be a trap, I guess. Or it's where I did the down, probably. Um, right with two things in front of me, would maybe go into this space, but I'd land on the spikes. Uh, and I don't think there'd be any way to get something in front of me, no. Okay, so I think I'm getting down into here. That's my goal. Go down into this space and go into it. Okay, so I have a down, which if I were to push it, Anywhere it would rotate and I'd no longer have it down because if I rotate it again, it would be an upwards facing one. So I am rotating one of these twice for sure. For sure, sure. Um, uh, oh, wait, the other thing I can, I can do. No, 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 I was going to say, <laughs> just do this. But no, I, I go left instead of right. So. I need to keep the downwards facing one. That is the trick here, I believe. I can totally believe that I am doing something with like maybe rotating one of them twice. Oh yeah, because one of these rotated twice would be a down, of course. And there is enough space to like do that. Can I then get in there somehow? I'm seeing something with this, like I, and this, like up here. I think it wants me to put a downwards facing U here. I push it in along that column. Then I go to the left of it, push it that way, and then go into it from the top. So that means getting a downwards facing U here and having a downwards facing U next to it. So that means not using that U. How's that gonna work? How is that gonna work? That means not using up. Oh, I could extract that, couldn't I? Like this. Um, I 
I can extract the downwards facing view like this. Feels interesting. But then can I still do what I need to do with this one? Get you over here. Get you in like this. I've got another downwards facing you, which is nice. Let's get that cursor out of the way. Um, I can push it out. Oh, I'm definitely getting close to something. Could I have done... Get one of these upwards ones face um, like pointing down. It needs to hit both of the things. Therefore, it has to go inside that space. Wait, why did I? Let's go back. I didn't need to push it in with the other one, did I? I could have just pushed it down myself. Yes. Okay. Now everything's solved. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to. Um, uh, well, I guess this is fine. I can just push you into that column here. We're done. Ta da! <laughs> okay. Bunch of really nice puzzles here. Very nice. Very satisfying. Okay, this looks very constrained at the end. There's a bunch of U's that are like packed in between spikes. So ultimately at the end here, I'm gonna to wanna to go left, like into that, like that, so that makes sense. So I wanna get that into position and then get around it. I've got so much stuff here, why? I can bring things in, well, yeah, I can bring things in here, I can also bring things in from the bottom, uh, sure, like this one. This is curious, this bit sticking out. Okay, what do I actually want to do here? I want to I guess get you there, which would mean if I went in that, I would go to get it there and then I'd come out this way. So probably I want to set something up where I don't like come all the way back out. Otherwise I have to go all the way back in again. Possibly. Downwards facing one would get me in. So actually maybe that's not that terrible. Like a downwards facing one up here or in the space not in this corridor, otherwise I'd have to push it against the top. So downwards facing one in the space, I come out, grab that, go down into it, I pop out there after this has been done. Okay, so then the question is, how do I get into this column? <laughs> that feels tricky. That feels really tricky, actually. We have four things in front of me, that's, not, that's never gonna work. Wait, I get into that column by just doing a rightwards one here. Yeah, okay. So that's not that tricky. So let's just imagine what this would take. Rightwards facing one there. I want to somehow exit. Um, which that obviously doesn't do. Okay. Let's do it with the down you, although I can't. I'm probably pushing stuff across this gap with one of the other U's maybe, or maybe not. Hard to say. Okay, what's my plan? Right what's facing you here goes like this, up, left, and there. I just walk down here, go through this, up, left. I then get the down and I go down, up, in, then go into this one, come out here. Okay. So what does that use of the five that I've got access to? That uses a down and a right. So then I have three others to play with. So the down and the right. So I have one more right, two lefts. Okay. 
which may be used for like actually using as use or for like pushing stuff across gaps. The downwards view I want to be in the top half so that I can use it at the end. Mm -hmm. The rightward view I want to be, it can't be this view, it has to be the one from the bottom. Well, I mean, maybe it could be that one. Why would it not just be this one? So it's gonna be this one, but I wanna get like into, I wanna get into the top half and presumably take this with me. Right? I can push one over if I really want to, which maybe I do want to do, because then I can like, uh, let's move you out of the way. Push that down. That could be the thing that I use to push this over, but it's not gonna go all the way. Although it would if I had, no. Why did I do that? I don't know. So it would take two things to push you into an accessible position. I only have two things down here and I don't want to get one of them stuck. Right? Unless I can somehow push the other rightwards facing one. I can. Oh, but is this just a case of like pushing things over like this? Mm, but then I'm not going to have like enough stuff to push this one into position. Like, I need to push it to the right somehow. Which I don't think I can do. Unless I could get access to another one of these. Which would be a struggle, I think. Think. I think. That space down at the bottom exists to stop me from being able to push something out. No, I don't know. Does it? So I don't want to push something into this corner, then it's just stuck forever. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the ending is like this, here, and I go into the thing from the left. If I push stuff back and forth, am I inevitably going to end up with two stuck on the spikes? Because that's probably a problem. I don't know if that is inevitable. I need to get you to the right, which I can do, but I can then not get through to the other side. Once that's in that position, how am I getting to the other side? I can't use the down. Okay, so that's one way to think about it, is like, I know this has to get into position, therefore it has to be pushed, like whether it's pushed with this or not, it doesn't matter, but it has to be pushed in from here. Yes, so I'm gonna be down here, for sure. Then I need some way out, and none of the things I've got right now will get me out except this, but I need that for later. So, because of that, I'm going to, push, like I need to somehow use those two to give me a way to come back, is the lesson here. And take that across with me. How do you suppose that's gonna happen? Well, that's just wasteful. Right now, only one is stuck against the spikes. If 
But if the U is going to go across, like eventually, unless I put the U, the U, the, the, they're all U's, I guess. Oh, well, they, these are C's. And this is a D with the left part missing? I don't know. Um, how are you getting across? If I push you with other blocks, it could work, but I need to use two to do it, which right now I can't do because I don't want to do that to these two, right? That's what I was trying before. Like, if that is going to be the case, then it would have to be like this, so that I can at least try and get that one back, which I can do. Why, why doesn't this work? I can then use these four to like get both of those out. What is wrong with this? Is there anything wrong with this? I need to get, I need, uh, I need to get you to the right. That's my issue right now. Which I don't see a way of doing. Because of the way these are set up. Unless there's like some way of, where will this take me? Up to the top. It'll take me that way. Like that would push that to the right if I could somehow hit it. If that would require getting this to the bottom, which isn't going to happen. making this worse. Wait, could I, before I put them down? Oh, in fact, yes, okay. So if I do this, no. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Like that, uh, but I'm going to push it into that wall, that corner. Can I do two? No. I feel like I'm like sort of on the right lines here, but not totally. If I could push it along this way, that'd be nice. That would require blocking in two spaces down here. Which feels impossible. Pretty much feels impossible. Like I could have pushed these over on a different column. Would that help? Somehow. seeing it. If I could get one of the left facing ones out, that'd be good. So is this just a case of like, oh, I shouldn't have used two left facing ones at that point. Okay, let's go back a lot. The undo's a little bit slow. Um, blah, 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 blah. Like, was there any reason I couldn't just use a right facing one or a left facing one? Like, this. What's the issue? The, the, okay, so the reason I was thinking that is because then I could push this with this, but then they're, they're, they're now on like opposite sides to each other, which is not good. Ooh, hard to think about. Can't get three down here because then 
mean, there's sort of R3 down here, but not away from the spikes. Not away from the spikes. How do I push you to the right? And then I have to get back across as well. <laughs> Which is easy with uh, the right was facing one. So if only I could swap these two over, I'd be done. <laughs> Why did I push all four like that? Could I have shuffled some stuff over? Mm, no. I'm sure that, that gets that there, but. Same problem. Whoa. I don't think I'm pushing the downwards facing one over as part of my return trip. Because to do that, well, it would just get stuck against the wall, right? Unless I somehow avoided that, but then I have to push it down. I can't push it away from this wall, it gets stuck in that corner. And here I have to push it down, but I can't because it's downwards facing you. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to get that in there, but then also get you across. What's the minimum required to get you across? The downwards facing you. Like, can I just avoid pushing you any further to the left? Oh, maybe I can actually, right? Because if I both of those down, and then just push that one to the left, and then I have access to the that one. Can I then get access? No, because then there's two on the spikes, right? Once there's two on the spikes, they're stuck there, unless I can push them off somehow. Avoid the being two on spikes, not really. Clearly, the thing I'm not using much right now is the like the actual U motion, but I'm struggling to see how I'd use it. Like, this is always close as well, but that would have to be to the left. And it's not. Wait, could it have been to the left? How did that get there? <laughs> How did anything happen? Uh, it can be to the left because I can push it with this. In fact, hold on. Wait. That's right. Oh, okay. Can I get back across? I can get back across. How did that work out? That somehow worked out. But I don't know how. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done, right? That goes there, as long as I've planned out the rest of this. That goes to there. Use this to go in. And I'm done. <laughs> I don't quite know what I did there. But suddenly it worked. Hmm. Okay. I must be getting pretty close to the end of the game, I think. That's a lot of downwards facing U's, and one of them that we can rotate. We can rotate it anti-clockwise, which means it will be a right-facing U, which will be exactly what we need to get 
in here. Right, up, left, yes, okay. <clears throat> so we want to make a right facing U, which is on the other side of the bunch of spikes, and then get it out and get it into the space. Okay. So many U's here. Oh no. How, okay, how do I, let's think about how a U could even get into that space and, and hit that. Am I like taking it a really awkward way around? Like it could be that I'm doing something like this. Like I'm not going straight in to the U bit, but I'm like pushing it around in a circle. I could totally believe that. I'm like almost certain that's exactly what's happening. Uh, I guess I can take one of these up this way. Then I can just go in, so that's going to rotate. Okay, oh, but then I'm stuck inside. Unless I use the thing, but then I need that. So, oh no, I'm still stuck inside. Uh, okay, how would this work at this point? Oh, I like push multiple. Right now, they get stuck. I get stuck there, yeah. Um, but I can have another one. Where is this going? <laughs> Anywhere good? How's that going to get back out of there? Is the question. I guess it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to get pushed out in one of these directions. It got pushed out this way, it hit that. Or land on the spike, which seems bad, unless it ended up here somehow. If it ended up... Well, if it's going to get pushed out, it has to be me going in and pushing it, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is it either has to be on the second or third parts of the, the U motion. So either I go in and push it to the right, and it's going to be very stuck. Uh, although not necessarily. into the right. I could like land on that spike, reset. That would require quite a lot of stuff to think I've got. I could have to have like two things here. Uh, yes, yes. And then another two, which I don't have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, like if there were one here, this would be done. Go in, I push that to the right, land the spike, it resets, I walk around and push it up, left, down, in, and I'm done. That's not gonna work. I feel like maybe everything I did at the start is good. Let's think about other ways to make a thing hit that, I guess. It's not gonna get pushed that way. No, it has to get pushed from here. It's going to get pushed from here, then... I mean, the other way to do that is to not take it around the circle. It's to just set up a bunch here, but then I'm going to get like stuck on the spike. No, not on the spike. I am there. Yeah, I can't push these up. If there's only one there, do I get back out? No, I just get stuck in that space. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unless I have a way out, could I make a way out? Is that possible? Like maybe I use two to set up a... I'm very glad this game gives me a lot of space for every puzzle. Maybe I like put one in and then use that somehow as an escape route. Mm, it's not an escape route though, is it? I don't think it ever would be an escape route. No. Wait, so how did this work before? How did I end up pushing a thing there? Because I already had one inside, yeah. Is there another way of getting one inside? If I push it uh, in from the left. 
Yeah, okay. So if I do, no, but I'll get stuck in, no, I won't. I won't get stuck inside. Okay, it's so like this. This is like a cheaper way of getting one into that bottom right corner, right? And then come out. Yes, that feels a lot cheaper. Then I can do the same process to push you up, which was using three here. And then maybe I have enough to do everything else. Yeah, two here. Yep, and I've got two for the top. I think everything works out as I planned. Push that in, push that out, push this up, and to the left. Lovely puzzle, very nice. Hey, thank you for playing. <laughs> That was really cool. <laughs> Bunch of really nice puzzles there. I'm not quite that that second to last puzzle. I yeah. I guess I knew it was about like pushing stuff over. Just like by pushing use against each other. I'm just not quite sure what I ended up doing that made that was better than other attempts that I did. <laughs> um but other than that, um all of those puzzles felt, I mean, that puzzle felt good as well, like especially the, the end of it playing out as I expected. And yeah, I quite, I quite enjoyed like just being able to, it was definitely one of the games where I can just look at the, the geometry and figure out if, like a bunch of key steps along the way and, um, and it all comes together nicely. Very neat. Um, that was Pushing You by Notan. No, no turn, not, not an, I don't know. Um, another nice short puzzle script game. Okay, cool. Um, see you for the next game, whatever that's going to be. Goodbye.